What's up guys? I have a brand new build for you today. It's by Jay Diggs and it is awesome. So let's head over to the gear and go into your file manager. If you're in a build, just head right over to file manager. Click on add source. Click the box that says none and type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash repo dot jdigs dot com then you can hit OK and then click in this box here we're gonna give it a name you can call it anything you want good enough <laughs> Okay, so then just hit OK and go down here, hit OK. There it is. We can back out twice. We're going to click on Add ons and up to the file box. On a build, you'll just go right to Install from Zip File, which might be in System. So now you want to click on what you named and you want to click on this repository zip then you'll wait to get a pop-up there you go so now you can install from repository digs repo program add-ons digs wizard then you can click install and boom there it is real quick so you get this pop up here you hit continue mm -hmm. and you click on the build menu there's also the xenon build here and this was recently updated too Diggs is really great about updating his stuff so if you want to check out the xenon I have a video for that I'll put it in the description he has really great builds so check him out so here it is, the new Twilight build. And as you can see on the side, it says no touchscreen or mouse support. So there's two different servers. Um, so if one's busy, try the other one. I'm going to try the second one. I always like to try the second one. Most people click the first one. And it's always best to do a fresh install. So I'm going to click fresh. Do you want to restore? Hit continue. So this is a pretty large file and that is because it is so packed with content. There are so many things inside. All right, so now we can force close Cody and then you just want to reopen it. So make sure you give it a couple of minutes for this part for everything to load and update. I've already done that. So take a look at this. This is very, very nice. Very different looking, right? It has this quick menu on the side. We can get to where you're going real quick. Movies, TV shows, live TV, music, pictures, add-ons, favorites, weather. You can refresh videos, music, update add-ons, your settings, debug, this is something I'm going to show you in a second, reload skin, save and exit, exit now, and the wizard. So here's something that maybe a lot of you don't do, is save and exit. It's important to do that, especially if you make any changes. That's a good way to shut down. So let's go take a look at everything else. 
So at the top here, you have all movies, all TV shows, live TV, add-ons, Android, there's APKs in there, the tools, there's an adult section here, and if you scroll down, there's live TV, there's TV channels, a guide, recordings, and timers. There's an in progress section. These would be live TV. Lots of things. There's next up. You can put in your attract information. They have recently added movies and updated TV shows. Then you can explore Twilight. There is just uh, like a million things to do in this. Down one more is live TV. You guys will need to explore this because there is just so much stuff. Next is sports. There's just too many things to name. There's so much stuff in here. So many choices. Next is media streams. Then it's music. Concerts, that's a nice one. Then there's the kids' zones. There's anime, audiobooks, big kids, cartoons and TV shows, gifted kids, kids' live TV, kids' movies, music, kids' tube, tiny tots, kids' gaming. Wow, there's so much stuff in here. So that's the bottom of the list. I really like how this looks. So let's go in to Android. Okay, so you see at the top there how that information is running across? This is how you turn it off. Go into the side and hit debug. Goes away. So there's an app installer, there's paid APKs open the ones that you currently have and then you can download some here. There's some gaming stuff. There's live TV and sports, gaming. You can go into your tools section. The wizard is here. There's a speed tester, advanced settings, Auto clean, fresh start, system information, you can scan for broken repos, force update add-ons, enable disable add-ons, and remove add-ons. Up at the top, you can hit home. Favorites, you can add favorites and then they'll all be here. Search. You can type in a movie search here. I think this is really cool. So if you click on all movies, first it brings up recently added, then it's got placenta, then Elysium, Showbox, people watching in placenta, Monster Munch, Neptune Rising. I really like how this looks. Very cool. So that's your movie library. Over here is the movie portal. That'll bring up extended info mod. And this one only works on Kodi 17.3 or 17.6. So if you click on the movie, it brings up this view. So here are the add-ons you can choose. Down below they have recommended, related movie lists, 
official videos and then you can click on the cast member they'll tell you all the things they were in movies TV there's nice artwork here very cool really good stuff here the next one you can search movies there's HD 3d and 4k movie section there's tracked and real to bread movie pairing and all the movie add-ons I think it's great same thing with all TV shows similar to movies next aired TV portal search TV shows 24 7 shows Explore, DVR Ketchup, and your TV show add-ons. Great stuff. Love it. Live TV. TV channels, guide, recordings, and timers. Your add-ons. Your video add-ons, your music add-ons, program add-ons, here's track, you can log in there, picture add-ons. I love this. So different looking, so jam-packed full of stuff. You'll need to explore on your own and I'm sure you'll find even more things. I think it's totally cool. I really like it. They did a great job with this. Awesome. I hope you guys love it too. Don't forget when you're done to save and exit. I'll see you guys soon.